Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to use the cap on in a few few different ways, in more conventional ways, more unconventional ways. But um, of course, the most obvious choice uh, to use a cap on is to transpose a chord. Sometimes you want to keep that kind of open <laughs> open string uh, chords, open string vibe to yourself. Okay, so let's say you want to transpose the C G open string type uh, type progression type song. Uh, and I want to transpose it in E, so I'll put you know the cap there, my fourth uh, fourth fret, so that I can play an E major with the same shape that I use for uh, for C major, and of course the next chord will be B, of course played with the same shape that I would use for G. So I'm playing uh, with the same you know the same chords, the same shapes, so to speak, but of course. I'm playing a different key now. Now I'm playing in E major. Um, of course, this is a way sometimes used by people that cannot transpose to, to kind of cheat their way into, you know, get, get the same song in a different in a different key. Uh, but I think actually it's a good way to um, over uh, when when you're recording a song to overlap guitars. Let's say if I, I can do a first track um, down here, and I'm, let's say C and G. Uh, maybe a first uh, a first layer of guitars, and then with a capo, I will go down here at the tenth fret and play again maybe C and G. In a different, you know, in a different uh, higher uh, higher register, so those would definitely complement each other. Another really quick trick that I, that I use sometimes is to use the cap on just half of the strings, not not to cover the whole uh, of the, of the fretboard, but just on half of the string. And so a good example is here in B, where I will just uh, put the cap on four strings, for the bottom uh, strings, and let's say use the two E and B strings open. This gives really a, a really nice open string vibes, like if I were, were using an open tuning, you know, but I'm actually just using the capo. The same thing if I just want to use it on the top for, I'm using it now in D, so another good example. You have to be make sure that it's, uh, you know, very close to the fret, it's a lot harder to get the same pressure down here. Um, so uh, I will detune also that at the top. Sorry, the bottom string, the sixth string to D. Now I'm in drop D tuning, and I will this is a, an example. Of course, it's always fairly hard to get the right pressure on the strings. It's a good example. It also almost gives that kind of mandolin uh, sound to it, or um, Kind of medieval, so to speak, sound to it. But it's a good, another another good trick uh, to do with a capo. Uh, that's it.